Welcome to another round of my little Gita demo series. Today, it's another extra hot day in Germany. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, end of spring, approaching summer. You know how we are uh, in winter and the rest of the year when the weather is bad, we always complain and when it's good, it's too hot. But it was really very hot the last week, so today is the first day where I'm not um, directly sweating into the camera, you know. And um, yeah, what, what do I have here? Uh, I come back to um, various comments uh, in the uh, comment section here of my YouTube channel where people complained like, uh, oh, would it be possible uh, only vintage guitars? Would you also present something new? <laughs> we want new guitars. So here you have it. Uh, it happened that a good friend of mine uh, developed the idea, uh, finally, that he wants to ha have a proper Fender Stratocaster. And so I have here a 2017 model of the so-called Fender American Professional Stratocaster, uh, uh, which has special features, which uh, is uh, distinguishing this model from a normal uh, Stratocaster, as you can see here in the detail. The guitar has, besides this wonderful finish, an ash body. It's called Siena Sunburst. Siena is a city in Italy. I think they had this in mind. And it has a new deep C-shaped neck, which is, yeah, I would say beefy. Uh, for me, a little bit thick, this profile. This is a personal preference. You know, people with already bigger fingers have problems. Um, it comes with so-called staggered modern tuners. Uh, as you can see here in the detail, uh, it's interesting. So I don't work in the music shops or I don't see new guitars every day. Uh, but I learned that uh, already for some years they produce these staggered modern tuners, which means that only the E and the A string tuners are having the normal height, and the other four tuners uh, are a little bit reduced in height. First I thought, oh, is there something wrong or is there something wrong with my head? But it is like that. What immediately drew my attention when I had the guitar first in my hands was the fact that the frets seem to be very high. They call it narrow tall frets. It's the last stage before tall, official tall frets. They are significantly higher than medium uh, jumbo frets, for example. And um, for me personally, they are too high, but uh, it's a personal preference. Uh, obviously, younger guitar players, modern guitar players uh, were shouting like crazy, we want higher frets. Um, this makes bending very easy and also uh, chords very easy. On the other hand, it feels less comfortable. And um, yeah, me personally, I, I, I prefer the uh, little smaller ones. But apart from the high frets, this guitar comes with a real bone saddle. This is a plus uh, from my point of view. Also, the pickups are uh, not the normal Stratocaster pickups. They are the so-called um, V-Mod uh, single coils. I think uh, Tim Shaw was involved um, with the construction of these pickups. They are not really hot. They are somewhat in between of what you would expect from an old uh, low output vintage pickup um, and a more hotter modern pickup. So they are somewhat in between. Um, they are not noise free, as you can hear here. It's a little bit humming in the background. I have a crunch channel selected. But with a five way uh, switch, I'm in the middle position between bridge and um, the middle position. And now I go to the bridge and it's humming like crazy. The same is true for the neck pickup. So these pickups are really not hum free. Um, and uh, I think I had vintage guitars which were humming less. Uh, that's how it is with the single coils. When I first got the guitar, uh, I changed the strings because I'm used to 46 to 10 and the uh, guitar was equipped with 42 to 9. And uh, the first thing I noticed was that the springs, uh, there are three springs uh, in this guitar here in the back, um, they are very light. Uh, and yeah, it was nearly impossible to bring this vibrator to a point where it brought, did bring up the, the bridge like that. So they are very light springs. Uh, I don't know what this means. It probably means that younger guitar players, well, the majority of guitar players is preferring lighter strings nowadays. But uh, I know of people who play sets like 56 to 13, 
what what I what are they doing then? Anyway, uh, I got it managed uh, somehow, and the guitar stays in tune very well now. Um, yeah, what, what is also special, the electronics of this guitar uh, are normal, like a Stratocaster will behave with a 5 way switch, um, but there's a treble bleed circuit, which means when you, um, when you turn down the volume, the, the treble is not going so much away like with normal conventional uh, wirings. And uh, this is also a matter of personal preference. I don't like it too much, but um, it works. It works. And um, yeah, the guitar looks absolutely, is it is an eye catcher, this, this finish. I really like this finish. It looks very, very nice with this maple, this Sienna uh, Sunburst. And also the guitar has uh, sonic capabilities, which are very cool. And uh, before I babble too much, I have prepared two playbacks. Uh, today I start with a crunch uh, playback. Because I figured modern guitar players only think in crunch and forgot about the clean sound, so you get the crunch first. But um, I uh, will spare you the normal blues riffs and the normal chords you will expect, um, because this has been done so many times and this guitar just fulfills all the requirements for a good Stratocaster sound. But, but the, the, there are certain strengths uh, of this guitar, which come over the best when I play to a little playback and more lead and turn a little bit on the knobs. So I start now with this crunchy playback. Uh, have fun.
Now I'm very hot, uh, which has to do with the high temperatures uh, here in Germany. I didn't play the fast licks, I was lazy, but I wanted to present to you yeah, the, the, the fine details of this uh, guitar. And um, uh, one conclusion is that these pickups here, the Vmod pickups, um, are really something different compared to normal uh, Stratocaster pickups because, of course, they offer the sparkling haze and everything, the sharpness, uh, what, what you would expect. But if you turn around a little bit with the knobs and with the tone control, you figure that this guitar has a lot of mid-range body and um, yeah, unusual, also unusual lots of uh, mid-frequency response. And um, just two days ago, I played with my band and played for a few songs this guitar. And uh, all my band, ba band members said, wow, this guitar it really is cutting through everything. So we have to, to turn louder. <laughs> so that you have an idea about this guitar. It's, it's, it's rather brutal in, in the mid-range. Uh, yeah, for that, I don't bubble too much. I also want to present you a few uh, clean sounds with this guitar. I also don't play the usual. I just play uh, to, to, to a pre-recorded -re -pre uh, playback and uh, will do my best to bring out the specialities, uh, the special frequency response of this guitar. And uh, I use another guitar amplifier now. Before, I, for the crunch example, I used a using Ketner Tube Meister 36. And uh, now I, for the clean sound, I use a PV Classic uh, 50 watts combo. But also with this clean sound, listen here. Uh -huh. There is hum. Uh, no electric guitar is hum free, but um, this hum is significant. So um, it's one of the louder humming uh, Fender Stratocasters um, I had in my hands. But nonetheless, this guitar is very good sounding and you can't control this hum. They are single coils, but uh, I was a little bit surprised, to say the least. Um, by the way, I cheated a little bit with my amplifiers because the amplifiers are also not normal. They are equipped both um, in the pre-stages with uh, vintage Telefunken 12AX7 uh, or as we Germans say uh, ECC83. These tubes are legendary and they really bring out the best of every amplifier and every guitar connected. So um, yeah, I stopped my bubbling. Uh, now the clean example. Have fun.
hope you heard in this clean example, um, yeah, this deep body of this Stratocast. I mean, that it is possible to, to, to have a, this deep bassy sounding with the chords, for example, or also when I use these uh, pick notes. Um, this really makes this guitar stand out for me uh, as a Stratocaster because apart from all my complaints with springs or how the potentiometers work, um, this is a very fine modern Fender Stratocaster and um, a very versatile instrument and it adds to the versatility of a normal Fender Stratocaster because of this bottom, this mid-range bottom this guitar offers uh, with this Wiimod um, single coils. So I had a lot of fun with this modern Fender American Pro Stratocaster from 2017. And uh, a huge thank you to my friend who was so nice to lend this guitar for today to me. And um, yeah, I wish you lots of musical inspiration, a great summer. Anyway, see you next time. Bye bye.